Hello, Scatterbenchers. It's time for a new overclock. In this video, we'll have a look at the Core i7-7700 KB Lake processor from Intel. We'll overclock the CPU, the memory, the integrated graphics, everything at once, and maybe have some special magic trick to get extra megahertz out of your system. Along with the Intel Core i7-7700K, we have an Asus overclocking motherboard, the Maximus 9 Apex, a dual-channel 16GB G-Skill Trident Z memory kit, and a Cooler Master single fan AIO cooler. The total cost of this system is about 850 US dollars. We'll link the hardware in the description below. We'll break up the overclocking process in four different steps. First, we'll overclock the CPU, then the memory, then the integrated graphics, and to sum it all up, we'll apply all the overclocks at once to have a full system overclock. To do the overclocking, we'll be using four different tools. First, for the actual overclocking, we'll be going into the motherboard BIOS to adjust all the settings, and then in the operating system, we'll be using four benchmarks. Intel XTU, HWBOT X265 1080p encoding, Geekbench 4 single and multi-core, and 3 Mark Skydiver. You can find all the benchmark and tools in the description below. To overclock the CPU frequency, we enter the BIOS in the Extreme Tweaker section. Under this section, we leave AI Overclock Tuner to Auto. Under CPU Core Ratio, we synchronize all cores and set the one core ratio limit to 50. Down below, we set CPU Core Cache Voltage to Manual Mode and configure it to 1.3 volt. Then, we press F10 to save the settings and go into the operating system. So we're in the operating system after our overclock. Now, let's look at the performance figures. In Intel XTU, we have a performance increase of 2%. In HWBOT X265 1080p encoding, we have a performance increase of 10%. In Geekbench 4 single core, we have an increase of 4%. In Geekbench 4 multi core, we have a performance increase of 6%. And in 3 Mark Skydiver, we have no performance increase. This concludes our overclocking adventure with our very first KB Lake system. Be sure to subscribe if you like this kind of tutorial content. Drop a message below if you have any questions or any problems overclocking your own KB Lake system. I also want to urge you to check out our magic trick videos that will give you another 200 megahertz on your CPU. Thanks for watching and until the next time.